The DVD player that comes with Mac OS X, it's a really cool application. Even though it's a very simple application to use, it has a number of features that are quite powerful. Uh, let me give you a quick overview of the controller down at the bottom. The controller down at the bottom uh, shows you the basic information about the DVD. It's kind of like the same stuff that you would get on a physical DVD player, like uh, the timing, uh, the option to get to the main menu, and, uh, and a couple of other buttons on the right-hand side here that are typically hidden by the drawer. Or actually, not typically, but could be hidden by this drawer over here. If you drag, it closes the drawer. But uh, the basic interaction, let me go in and start playing this DVD. I'm going to click on the siding side of things. And uh, it's going to start off with a default language, which in this case is going to be English. If I go in and press on play all segments, it starts playback. When your sighting arrives on and the site, first thing that I'm going to show you is that you can pause playback right over here. So the button over here uh, toggles between play and pause. If you click on the timing, it changes from uh, the current time, which is 8 seconds, the next time around is uh, how much time it actually has left. So it still has left uh, 20 minutes with 52 seconds. Let me just play a few more seconds. Placed in a dry area with plenty of ventilation. And as you see, this number is actually counting down. If you press again, it gives you the number of the title that you're in and the total number of chapters. Now, this is kind of interesting, though. You see over here it says title and then chapter, title being highlighted. If you click on chapter, now, the, the number, let me go again, um, uh, through the three different views. This one is the current time. This one is the remaining time for that particular chapter. Now, uh, as you can see, it says 147 and not 2049. And, uh, and then the third time that you click, now it says 1 out of 30. So that's because we're in chapter 1 out of the 30 chapters that are within this 20-minute uh, timestamp. So depending on, on the label that it's highlighted, if it's title or chapter, these numbers are going to mean different things. Most of the times, uh, you typically show the current timestamp. Now, the buttons on the right-hand side here, uh, the menu button takes you to the main menu as per the programming of, of the DVD. The title button takes you to uh, what it would be the same thing as pressing on the title button on a physical remote control which most of the times uh, takes you to the top level menu. The eject button, as you can imagine, will eject the disk from the drive, which is not what I'm going to do. And uh, you have here the volume slider. By default, it starts off at 50%. But, uh, but you can raise that volume or you can bring it down by using the slider over here. And, uh, and then the buttons over here do allow you to navigate or control the playback once you're in a specific title. So let me go back to the siding DVD, or to the siding uh, section, play all segments. And now that we're watching some content, let me bring down the volume down so we don't get distracted by site, uh, Paul Mackey. But uh, these buttons over here allow you to navigate in between the chapters. So right now we're in chapter one. Pressing on this button here would take me to chapter two. Chapter, I guess I pressed too quickly, chapter four. Chapter 6. Actually, I think it has to do with the way I programmed that DVD. Uh, I don't remember how many programs or how many chapters I added in there. But uh, in actually, there are 30. And uh, the buttons on the left-hand side here, uh, they are navigation buttons. They behave like the remote control buttons. So if you are uh, playing a particular title and pressing on the right arrow and left arrow, well, in this case, it doesn't do anything because it's like pressing on the right arrow or left arrows on the remote control, which are different from the next chapter and previous chapter buttons, which is where these other two buttons do. So let me show you why or, or, or in what situation these menu buttons would behave. And uh, as the name implies, it's when you are in a specific menu. So let me go back to the main menu. And, uh, and check this out. Uh, with the computer, of course, you can use the mouse to roll over the buttons and they get highlighted and when you click on them, they get selected. But in a physical DVD, you don't have the luxury of a mouse. You actually navigate 
using the um, uh, arrows going up and down. So that's what these buttons do here. As you can see here, every time that I press on down, the button that is selected in the menu actually goes down. So if I go uh, down again, it goes to the, or it selects the back to main menu button. And um, now this buttons over here perform the actions that are programmed to that particular DVD that you're playing. In this case, this particular DVD, when you press down or, or right, you would actually go to the next button in the list here. So let me show you here, see? And when you press on the enter button, it's like pressing on the enter button on a physical remote, which actually performs the action of that button. For this particular menu that, that I'm showing you, uh, when you press on enter on any of these buttons, it expands another set of buttons that, uh, that just shows you more options.